So I knew I wanted to make a music video for The Flower in the Wind. I just really enjoy film and uh, TV and just storytelling in that medium. And so I want to try to release a video with every song or every single that I release. So of course I had to do one for this, uh, this song. And I was wondering how I'm going to do it. It's, it's very unique, whereas my other songs are more kind of metaphorical and more imagery based. This was pretty straightforward a story with characters. So I'm thinking, how in the world am I going to do this? Um, and with what resources, how am I going to make this happen? And some of you uh, know this. If you don't know this, I'm also an editor. So I work for a post-production house editing movies. I love editing. I've done it for like a decade now. And I'm the one who's edited all my past music videos. So I didn't really have doubts about creating it. It's always how am I going to do it. So I went to my, uh, my boss and, and good friend, Mark David, and said, hey, Mark, do you guys have equipment? Do we have equipment <laughs> as a post-production house that I, can, that I can rent out? And he says to me, he says to me, I talked to Mark, Mark, he says to me, uh, how about I shoot this for you? And I thought, this is way better than me putting a camera on a tripod. And I don't know if I would have done Christmas lights again. Probably not. If you're not sure what I'm referencing, you can look at my Donner music video. That was super safe. Uh, but that was super encouraging to have him want to shoot it with me. And Mark has shot um, just dozens of feature films, indie films, short films. So he knows what he's doing. And it really gave me the opportunity to expand on the idea of what's possible for the music video. So I started prepping.